<laughs> Welcome, one and all, on this fine hollow's eve to VG Emporium. Or, I just dare say, from the basement of VG Emporium. <laughs> Once you are done from your shuddering and shaking, you may be able to collect that. I am not your normal host. Rage Cage? No. I am but one of two ghouls that will be hosting you tonight. I am Bryson Lurchford. And I am joined by my associate, Laurel Pietri. Oh, this is so lovely. We hardly ever get any guests down here. You <laughs> should feel quite honored. <laughs> <laughs> Very well put, Laurel. For it is quite the honor that you are down here tonight with us. For you see, not many ever come down in here to the basement. Only ever Rage Cage is really permitted to come down here. For you see, we too were here far before any building was ever built. This was our crypt. And they built on top of it. So, we are the ones who truly own his place. What my friend says here is partially true, but that is a tale for another time. For here at present, we are here to present to you video game music. Particularly the kind that fits so, so well with this time when the world of the dead is oh so close to that of the living. And we've each come with our own selections to share with you this eve. My selections tend to be a little bit more light-hearted. I believe what those of this time would call spoopy. Such as this song that we came in on, level one. From Decap Attack, composed by Hiroto Kano. <laughs> Whereas my friends tend to be. Well, Pietre, I'll let you explain. My music is truly appropriate for this time of the day. Yes, in fact, the song I have for you coming up here. <laughs> is so very appropriate. This is Encounter from Michigan Hell Report composed by Masafumi Takada. <laughs>
<laughs> and that lovely lullaby was Encounter from Michigan Airport, composed by Masefumi Takada. And let me tell you a little secret. I nearly fell asleep to that because it's so soothing to my. It's just so soothing to me. <laughs> is, it, is it not so soothing to you? Did you enjoy that little lullaby? <laughs> Calm down, Pietri. I do believe they did. Our answer may have just been delayed because they too were beginning to fall asleep to this lullaby. Oh, that fills me up like a bubble with joy. Indeed. But we mustn't have them falling asleep on us. We need them to stay awake long enough for us to share all of our songs tonight. <laughs> that is true. So many wonderful things to share with them tonight. Frightfully wonderful. <laughs> So, to wake them up, I've got quite the jaunty little spooky tune for you. This is stage two from Yureku, composed by Manabu Saito. Delightful Stage 2 from Yureku by Manabu Saito. And yes, this may not be particularly scary. In fact, our little Mr. Ghost is simply a little blue blob with a buck tooth. 
but the true horror lies within your resource management, for you must have coin in order to purchase bonuses you find on the ground. Devilishly devious gameplay. <laughs> Wouldn't you say, Laurel? It makes me think that we should summon our own ghost. Preferably one that is much more scarier than your buck tooth lad. Laurel, you remember the last time I held a seance? I accidentally summoned 13 ghosts. And we had to deal with those bloody idiots and the talking dogs. <laughs> I really did like this little tiny one. He was very scrappy when I tried to hit him with the bat. He was very, very agile. Not like Leopold. No, oh, not like Leopold. Good night, Leopold. Ah. Sorry for reminding you. How about we cheer you up by listening to one of your favorite Isolation 2 songs? Really? For truly? Yes, I suppose. Oh, this is most, most, most wonderful. This is... It is my favorite, favorite song to listen to in my isolation tomb. This is BG, Floor BGM 2 from Innsmouth no Yokata. Composed by Yoshiyuki Ishii and Dota Hando. <laughs> 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 Sorry, don't, 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 don't forgive me. Forgive, forgive me. Oh, oh okay. He says, what's that? That was a floor PGM too from Innsmouth no Yakata. By, composed by Yoshiyuki Eshi and Dota Ando. <laughs> I, I could listen to this for hours, days. Weeks even in my isolation tomb, <laughs> and, and so, some some would say that it was I who am mad, but for not being able to fathom 
the old holes and cosmological things that are out there in the universe. If they, you, they are mad for not being able to comprehend such things. But I can. <laughs> I can. <laughs> <laughs> so, you may say that I am the one who am mad, but it is you, you, who are the one who is mad. <laughs> are you quite done? <laughs> we do have a seance to carry on. <laughs> yes, 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 sorry, I am sorry. Yes, please, please, let's, let's do this. Let's call someone for back from the dead. <laughs> Very well. Here we go. I need silence, Pietri. So here we go. Spirits from Bibion, hear my call and come to us, speak with us, and bring us tales of the other world, the one that waits for us beyond the veil. Patience, Laurel. Spirit, can you speak with us? Can you understand what I say? Can you speak the language of the living? Where you are is not important right now. But as for your last memory, that may very well have been all that ruckus that was going on on April Fool's. If that big palooka is... I cannot remember his name. That big oaf. Oh, oh, you mean Mamba Chewamba? Mamba Chewamba? We need to tell him that he has the game. He told me to stay away. But wait a minute. Tell me. Yes, you are very much Dead. Unfortunately, too freshly dead. Oh, well that's interesting. That's actually going to make things a lot easier for death, A lot easier for what? Didn't my revenge on that fat boy who took everything away from me and eat all of the sacks in the world? Yes, that's all very well and good. But it seems that this seance is another bust. Ooh, ooh, I know how to salvage this wasted time. Gadrel? Mm, what do you want from me? <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm very proud of my ugliness. <laughs> but, but we are playing the spooky and scary musics for the, the people to listen to that are hearing right now. You have, you have a song. Do you like like for us to play? A song of wisdom? Yeah, I got it. How's it about all this house? From my game, Dan Rill, and his nine wives. Ha 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 Much good those did you. What's the matter, buddy? Well, I do recall that Rage Cage had everything Garfield, Gad Ralph, related. Destroyed. <laughs> well, actually, that hasn't happened yet. Still in the chest, in the very back corner. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait! I go get the mic. Guys, it's strange for the day. I suppose that we're gonna have a tussle, you and I, between me and what you want, who I want, and you try to see me back into the world of the dead. Oh, I care not what you do. Oh, I'm just very disappointed in another failed sale. Oh, damn. I wasn't expecting that answer. But hey, I'll take it. Watch out, man. Get around this town. I'm 
my phone. Oh, your phone. Where did he go? Ah, uh, what does it matter? You found the song, so we might as well play it. I found it for him, and he's not even here to listen to it. What? The why? Why this a way? Why? No use sniveling over it. Give it here. Let's see. Uh, so, what we have for you here is Haunted House from Gadrel and his nine lives. Composed by Alistair Brimble.
that was surprisingly good. You just heard Haunted House from Gadrelf and his nine lives. Composed by Alistair Brimble. And I may just tuck this one away for safekeeping. So it does not get destroyed with the others. <laughs> so we are going to destroy them still? Yes. They will provide adequate fuel for what we must do tonight after we're done here. Planned for tonight? <laughs> I heard, yes, yes, what we have planned for tonight. I nearly forgot. We have been waiting patiently for this wonderful night of Hollow's Eve for what we must do. Such wonderful, wonderful, horrible, horrible things we are going to do tonight. <laughs> yes, but they needn't know. Our draws near. Laurel! Please play your last song for the night so that we may proceed with our plan. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I saved the best for last. You all would very much enjoy this one. <laughs> I know I do. Such imagery that it conjures to the mind is thick. Like, like blood, running, flowing blood. <laughs> this is the helmet from Hyperlight Drifter, composed by Disaster Peace. <laughs>
you were just hearing the hermit from Hyperlight Drifter composed by Disaster Peace. <laughs> yes, the image is his song conjures the, the hermit. He just he mashes, he gnashes, he rips on tars and the blood, the blood flowing and all the gunk and explosions jump, jumping and smashing on. <laughs> it's a very frightening sight to be heard. Or what? <laughs> well, who would be more frightening than a giant toad? Think, think about it. Toads, they eat anything that they can. And a giant one would eat anyone he could. <laughs> It's just mashing, eating and thrashing and not flinching at all. The, the screaming, all the noises, all the ever noise that would come from is eating you. <laughs> so remorseless. <laughs> without thought, they eat. That's all they can do is eat without remorse. It's the mashing and the gnashing. <laughs> Pietri. Please do save your energy for our task soon coming at hand. A task for which, unfortunately, we must leave you, our honored guest, for tonight. For the perfect hour draws quite near. I hope you enjoyed all this spooky and eerie music that we shared with you tonight. I have been Vricent Lurchford and my morbid friend Laurel Pietri and we'd like to thank you for joining us down here in the basement of VG Emporium. Have yourself a deviously wonderful All Hallows Eve. <laughs>